Um, okay, now this. No, I I realize that um, that this country has many difficulties. Nimekundua kwamba taifa hili liko na hali ngumu kabisa. And poverty is one. Umaskini umekuwa mwingi zaidi. And and sometimes people might think, well, we are so poor because God doesn't love us. Na watu wengine wanaweza fikiria kwamba oh sisi ni maskini kwa hivyo Mungu hatupendi. I want to say that difficulty doesn't mean God doesn't love us. Kipindi kigumu unachokipitia haimaanishi kwamba Mungu hakupendi. In order to have strength, ili wewe uwe na nguvu to overcome the problems, ili kushinda majaribu and to be open to the blessings of God, na uwe umefunguka kwa baraka za Mungu, is very important that we all know that we are loved by God. Ni la muhimu sisi sote tujue kwamba tumependwa na Mungu. So this morning I'll talk about the love of God. Kwa hiyo um saa hizi nataka kuzungumza kuhusu upendo wa Mungu that we can enjoy his presence. Kwamba tunaweza sherekea uwepo wako. And be strengthened by his blessings. Na unaweza kutiwa nguvu kwa baraka. And also when we come close to him, na unapomsongea karibu, all kinds of blessings will come to us. Baraka zote zile zote zitakujia. And it can bring changes to ne. this to to ourselves and to the country. Na yaweza kuleta mabadiliko kwetu sisi na hata kwenye taifa letu kiujumla. Sema amen. Amen. Now, if God doesn't love us, na kama Mungu hatupendi, there is no hope for anything. Basi hatuna matumaini kwa chochote kile. But the fact is God does love us. Lakini la msingi ni kwamba Mungu anatupenda God cares about us na Mungu anatujali God wants blessings to come to us na Mungu anataka baraka zikuje kwetu But how come so many places are poor lakini ni, ni, kwa sababu gani maeneo mengine ni maskini It's because of the sins of all mankind ni kwa sababu ya dhambi zote za wanadamu And also we're not connected to God very well na pia hatujaunganika na Mungu katika njia iliyo sawa Because the Bible says seek first the kingdom of God Manaki. and his righteousness And Manake, all these things will be added to you. Manake maandiko yasema kwamba utafute kwanza ufalme wa Mungu na mambo mengine yote yatazidishiwa. Now some people think when I believe in Jesus all the blessings will come. Watu wengi hufikiria kwamba nikimwamini Kristo basi baraka zitakuja. Now it is true when we believe in Jesus blessings start to come. Ni ukweli unapomwamini Kristo baraka zinakuja. Sema amen. amen. But the Bible does say that when we seek his kingdom and his righteousness. Lakini Biblia inasema kwamba la kwanza ni lazima utafute haki yake kwanza. That means when we one more people saved hiyo inamaanisha kama kwamba kama tunataka watu wengi waingie katika wokovu one more people enter the kingdom of god tunataka watu wengi waingie katika falme ya mungu and the second is we let our heart be the kingdom of god na sasa linalofuata ni kwamba tunaacha nyoyo zetu zikamwendee mungu ikaziwe hekalo la mungu the kingdom of god is where his grace is Ufalme wa Mungu ni yale maeneo ambayo neema ya Mungu ipo and where he rules mahali ambapo Mungu anaongoza so two two a uh, two aspect the kingdom of god is where there is uh, the grace of god is and where he rules katika mitazamo miwili ufalme wa Mungu uko mahali ambapo kuna neema ya Mungu na ile sehemu ambayo Mungu anaongoza that means more people enter the grace of god to be saved hiyo inamaanisha watu wengi huingia katika neema ya Mungu kwa ajili ya wokovu And then secondly, the more people will obey God. Na ya pili ni kwamba watu wengi watamtii Mungu. When we let God rule our heart, that is the kingdom of God. Tunapoacha Mungu kuongoza roho zetu inamaanisha kwamba huo ni mfalme wa Mungu. Now because many people people believe in Jesus, na kwa sababu watu wengi huamini kwa Kristo, they don't let God rule in the heart. Hawa hawaachili Mungu kuongoza maisha yao. That's why they have fights in the home. Ndio sababu wako na kupigana kule nyumbani. They don't spend time praying to God. Muda wao mwingi hauchukui kwa ajili ya kumuomba Mungu. They have negative feelings toward God. Wako na hisia kinyume na wengine. And that way they cannot receive the blessings of God. Kwa njia hiyo hawawezi wakapata baraka za Mungu. Sema you know, amen. Amen. You know to receive the blessings of God, unajua kupata baraka za Mungu, the first is more, most important to know that He really loves us. La kwanza ni wewe kujua kwa kweli Mungu huyu anatupenda kwa dhati. We don't need to do anything to make him love us. Hatuhitaji kufanya chochote ili Mungu atupende. He loves us 
before we follow him. Yeye anatupenda hata kabla hatujaanza kumfuata. Now this is very very important. Na hii ni ya muhimu muhimu zaidi. Because many Christians will say Manake wa Kristo wengi watasema oh, God doesn't love me. Ah Mungu hanipendi. God doesn't care about me. Mungu hanijali. God doesn't help me. Mungu hanisaidi. Life is difficult. Maisha ni magumu. When they are negative like that, wanapokuwa na hisia kinyume sampuli hiyo, it's hard to receive the blessings of God. Ni vigumu sana kupokea baraka za Mungu. Now here we will talk about some Bible verses. Hapa basi tutaongea mistari kadha ya Biblia to help us Enjoy God's love. Ambayo inatusaidia tuburudike katika upendo wa Mungu. Let me tell you every morning I wake up. Wasani waambie asubuhi ninapoamka. I always say huwa ninasema God is loving me now. Mungu ananipenda saa hizi hizo. God cares about me now. Mungu ananijali saa hizi hizo. God wants to bless me now. Mungu anataka kunibariki saa hii. It is a fact. Hiyo ni jambo la kweli. When I live like that, ninapoishi hivyo, I have a lot of joy and strength. Niko na nguvu nyingi na furaha nyingi. Every moment I think of God, kila wakati ninapofikiria kuhusu Mungu, I have strength and I have joy. Ninakuwa na nguvu na kuwa na furaha. And I also see blessings. Na ninaona baraka. In many places I go to, sehemu nyingi ambazo nimekwisha kutembelea. Now, my main calling is to revive people's spiritual life. Mimi mwito nilio nao ni kufanyia uvivio maisha ya wanadamu ya kiroho. My calling is to train people to serve God. Mwito wangu ni kuwafundisha watu ili wamtumikie Mungu. I only have a small organization in Hong Kong. Mimi niko tu na kashirika kadogo kule Hong Kong. We don't have a lot of money. Hatuna pesa nyingi. Ministries over the world. Hatuna pesa za kutosha ili tukapate kusaidia huduma za watu ulimwengu mzima. Now sometimes people ask me, can you support us? Na mara nyingi watu huwa wananiuliza kwamba je, waweza kutusaidia? And I said, I'm not a, you know, a mission supporting organization. Na mimi huwa nawaambia kwamba mimi si kwamba niko na uwezo wa kusaidia watu. We only have a small group of people. Sisi tuko tu na kikundi kidogo cha watu. But I tell you God is gracious to us. Lakini nakwambia Mungu ni wanaema kwetu. God has provided for us. Mungu ametupa zile ambazo tunahitaji. So I can go to different countries. Kwa hivyo ninaweza enda kwenye mataifa mbalimbali. And many places I want you. Na kila sehemu ambayo nimekwisha kwenda, I did bring blessings. Huwa nimeleta naleta baraka. Amen. I'm not boasting. Si kwamba najigamba. I'm just saying God is good. Najaribu tu kusema kwamba Mungu ni mwema. God wants to bless. Mungu anataka kubariki. God loves you. Mungu anakupenda. Sema amen. Amen. Like when I came here, kwa mfano nilipokuja hapa, I used the remainder of my money in my pocket. Nimetumia ile hela ambayo nimekuwa nimebaki nayo kwenye mfuko. Now I tell you not to say anything about me it's about God. Na sisemi kwamba ndo sasa muanze kunisema mambo haya yote ni ya Mungu. You know God gave me this heart how to bless this place. Mungu amenipa moyo huu jinsi ya kubariki maeneo haya. And and God moved me to use up so all the, the the remainder of the money I have na Mungu amenishawishi nikatumia ile fedha ambayo nilikuwa nimebaki nayo kwenye mfuko wangu yote and to give to this church ili nipeane kwenye kanisa hili to buy African drum and tambourine ili wanunue zile vyombo zinazoweza kuwasaidia katika so itaka The people walking by, watu wanao pita kule njiani, can hear the drum, wanaweza sikia ngoma zikipiga, and the tambourine, na zile kayamba. There is one way to attract people. Hiyo ndiyo njia moja kuwaleta watu. You don't have a sound system here. Hamna ile ule mdundo mkubwa hapa. But you can have a drum. Lakini unaweza kuwa na ngoma unacheza. Now this one, this is the sound. Get a chair, get a chair. Get a chair. Okay, like so. <laughs> so you can have a drum and tambourine. So God moved in my heart. And I went when I went to this pastor's church. I saw so many children there. 
God moved my heart. Na Mungu akasukuma moyo wangu. We want to bring these children to the kingdom of God. Tunataka tulete hawa watoto kwenye falme ya Mungu. And I told you know my people and other people na nikaambia watu wa kwangu na wale watu wengine pia about the needs kuhusu hitaji in just a few days time kwa siku chache tu hizi i was able to raise enough money to build a Sunday school house for them nilikuwa na uwezo wa ku wa kuchanga pesa za kujenga mjengo ambao Sunday school watoto watakuwa wakiingia ndani kwa ibada pigia Yesu makofi I'm not saying I'm good. Sisemi kwamba mimi ni mwema. I'm not saying my organization has money. Sisemi kwamba halile shirika langu liko na hela nyingi. Actually most of the money come outside of our organization. Kwa kweli fedha nyingi zimetoka nje ya lile shirika langu. Is other people heard about the needs here? Ni watu wengine ambao wamesikia mwito wa hitaji hilo. My emphasis is kile ambacho nasisitiza ni hiki. God loves us. Mungu anatupenda. When we are connected to God, tukisha ungani kana Mungu believe we'll, we are loved by God tuamini tumependwa na Mungu and live in his love na tuishi katika upendo wake first we get strength ya kwanza tunapokea nguvu we have joy tunakuwa na furaha and also God can bring blessing na sasa Mungu anaweza kuleta baraka sema amen amen and your life will be filled with joy na maisha yako basi yatajazwa na furaha hallelujah amen, amen. now i say a 49 verses 15 to Verses 15. Katika verses kitabu 15. cha Isaya 49 mstari wa 15 hadi 16. Isaya 49 mstari wa 15 hadi 16. Can a mother forget the baby at her breast and have no compassion on the child she has born? Though she may forget, I will not forget you. J. Kuna kipindi mama yuwa, mama anaweza kumsahau mtoto anaweza kusahau hata kumnyonyesha lakini Mungu anatuahidi kwamba hata wahi kusahau wewe Now you don't have to look up the Bible if you can fi- find it fast you can find it Sio lazima ukafunue funue Biblia wewe andika huo mstari utausoma baadaye If not you just write down Uandike tu utausoma baadaye I rather you listen na sasa hapa nataka usikilize kwa makini. Isaya 49:15. Mstari wa 15 hadi 16. So can a mother forget the baby at her breast? Je, mama anaweza kusahau mtoto kumnyonyesha and not have compassion on her son? Na pia asiwe na upendo kwa mwanae. Even if she forget, I, God will not forget us. Ana kama anaweza kusahau, Mungu hawezi akatusahau. So God is thinking about you right now. Ma, wakati huu ambao tunaongea Mungu anafikiria kukuhusu sema amen. amen you are the baby in god's arm wewe ni mtoto katika mikono za mungu like this a baby mungu anakus a, um, a baby wewe ni mtoto unasudhiwa na mungu god remembers all the time mungu anakumbuka kila wakati god think about us all the time mungu anatufikiria kila wakati but you might say if god think about us all the time lakini unaweza kusema kama mungu anatufikiri kila wakati how come we are so poor mbona basi sisi tu maskini The key is to live in the love of God. La msingi ni wewe kuishi katika upendo wa Mungu. It's not just to know God's love. Sio tu kujua upendo wa Mungu. But if everyone here, lakini kila mmoja hapa, the pastor and all the people, wachungaji na watu wengine wote, every day say God is loving us. Kila siku waseme ye Mungu anatupenda. God is blessing us. Mungu anatubariki. God wants to bless us. Mungu anataka kutubariki. And I love God with all my heart. Nitampenda Mungu kwa moyo wangu. I want to do God's heart. Na nifanye kazi ya Mungu. If you live like that, ukiishi namna hivyo, you see blessings come to this land. Utaona baraka zikuja kwenye ardhi hii. Because God's blessings will come God's presence will bring blessings. Manake uwepo wa Mungu utaleta baraka za Mungu. Sema amen. Amen. There are many Christians in the world. Kuna wakristo wengi ulimwenguni. They say they believe in Jesus. Wanasema wamemwamini Kristo, but they only go to church once in a while. Lakini wao kwa mwaka wao wanaenda kanisani mara mbili. And they might have negative feelings about God. Wanaweza kuwa na hisia kinyume na Mungu, and they might not love God much. Na hawawezi pia kumpenda Mungu zaidi. They just say God is far away. Wana sema a Mungu wako mbali. I don't know where God will help me. Mimi sijui Mungu atanisaidia lini. And they have negative feelings about God. Na sasa wako na hisia kinyume kwa Mungu. When that happens, mambo hayo yakitendeka, then it's very hard to receive blessings. Ni ngumu sana wewe kupata baraka. But when we 
live in a love of God lakini tunapoishi katika upendo wa Mungu love him all the time na ukampende Mungu kila wakati his blessings will come all the time baraka zake zitakuja kila wakati sio ma amen you'll be surprised how much we, blessings can come wewe utashangazwa jinsi utakavyokuwa umebarikiwa let me tell you i come across blessings everywhere wasa niwaambie mimi huwa napokea baraka kila mahali nipo in my provision katika kipato changu God opens a way for me Mungu ananifungulia njia zangu God let me bless other people Mungu ananifanya nawabariki watu God give me talents to Mungu. help people Mungu ananipa kile kipao cha kusaidia watu God gives me the anointing the Holy Spirit Mungu amenipa upako wa Roho Mtakatifu He will do the same for you Atafanya hivyo hata kwako sema amen Amen Okay now Psalm 139 verse 5 katika kitabu cha Zaburi you have enclosed me behind and before and laid your hand upon me. Katika kitabu cha Zaburi mm, sura ya 139 mstari wa 5 inasema kwamba Mungu ako mbele yangu na ako nyuma yangu nami niko katikati yake. Now this is very important verse. Na huo ni mstari muhimu zaidi. God is in front of us and behind us. Mungu ako nyuma yangu na mbele yangu and he's laid his hand upon us. Na ameniwekea mikono yake. Now when I come here to eat ninapokuja hapa kukula I think God that some of you serve us like this Huwa ninaona wengine wakituhudumia hivi They will take a bowl and a, a, a jar of water watachukua eh, mtungi uko na maji na besheni to what, let us wash our hands ili watuoshe mikono zetu That's serving us I thank you Huo ni huduma kwetu na shukuru and give us the food that we need na wanatupa chakula kile ambacho tunahitaji tule so i thank her for this service ninashukuru mungu kwa sababu ya huduma huu and then after we finish eating you give us the the, the basin and the, the bowl and the water tu, again to wash the hands tukishamaliza kutumika tena mnatupa maji tunanawa mikono zetu vizuri kwa sabuni na makaratasi ya kupanguza <laughs> it is nice that you serve us ni vyema sana maana yake mnatuhudumia Now when people serve you does it feel good? Je, wewe ukihudumiwa hivyo unasikia vizuri ama vibaya? Vizuri. Yes. But God is serving us all the time. Lakini ona wewe unatuhudumia tu wakati wa kukula hivyo. Lakini ukumbuke kwamba Mungu naye anakuhudumia kila wakati. Sema amen. amen. Now you might say where is God serving me? Waweza kusema a a kwani huyu Mungu wako wapi mwenye anatuhudumia? First nature is God's way of serving us. Ya kwanza asilia asilia ndo kile kitu ambacho Mungu anatuhudumia nacho. He created beautiful nature and delicious food for Aliuma us. Aliumba watu na asilia yote na kaumba chakula kitamu kwa ajili yetu. And also he moved in our heart. Na pia anatuko na msukumo kwenye nyoyo zetu. In the heart of each of this each of us. Kwa hivyo kwenye mioyo zetu kila mmoja Remember how when you were a non-Christian, kumbuka enzi zile ambazo ulikuwa haujaokoka. God used different people to bring you to Jesus. Mungu alitumia watu tofauti kukuleta kwa Kristo wewe. And then God spoke in your heart. Na Mungu akanena kwenye moyo wako. To draw you to come to Jesus. Ili akuvute uje kwa Yesu. Can you remember how you were brought to Jesus? Can you remember? Je, kuna yule yote ambaye anaweza kukumbuka ni nini kilifanyika ndiye akaokoka? Can you remember? Waweza kumbuka vile ulielekezwa kwa Kristo Yesu? How many of you remember how you were saved? Anahitaji majibu kutoka kwenu. Wanauliza uangapi wenu wanakumbuka jinsi walivyoelekezwa kwa Kristo? Raise your hand. If you remember, remember how you were saved. Kama unaweza kumbuka jinsi ulivyookolewa, uinue mkono wako. If you remember, remember how you were saved. watu waliookoka, si ndio? Okay. Now my le- next question is, swali langu ni hili. Do you remember how God uses different people? to help you bring you to Jesus. Je, waweza pia kukumbuka jinsi vile Mungu alivyotumia watu tofauti ili wakuelekeze kwa Kristo? And also do you remember how God worked in your heart to bring you to believe in Jesus? Na je, waweza kukumbuka vile Mungu aliyefanya kazi kwenye moyo wako ili uamini katika Kristo? Do you remember that? Can you raise your hand? Do you remember? Kama unakumbuka inua mkono wako. Good. Do you see the love of God there? Je, hapo unaweza kuona upendo wa Mungu mahali hapo? Yes. Do you see the God the love of God there? Je, unaona upendo wa Mungu? Yes. You know sometimes I thought of how God brought me to Jesus. Unajua wakati mwingine huwa naanza kutafakari vile Mungu alinisaidia vile nilivyoelekezwa kwa Kristo Yesu. Sometimes I'm touched and sometimes I want to cry. 
wakati mwingine nasikia nimeguzwa mpaka nahisi kulia even just now when i asked you that question hata saa hizi wakati nimekuulia swali hili i thought about how i was saved nilianza kukumbuka vile nilivyokolewa and i said god you're so wonderful nikasema ai mungu kumbe wewe ni waajabu you use the right people in the right situation to bring me to jesus ulitumia watu watu sawa na wakati sawa ili kunielekeza kwa kristo yesu and i said thank you lord na nasema asante bwana and i move by the love of god na sasa niko na msukumo wa upendo wa mungu now let me ask you after we are saved do we obey god right away aya wasa ni kuulize wakati unapookolewa pap Unaanza kumtii Mungu wakati huo? Yes. Do you sometimes disobey him? Na je, kuna wakati ambapo haumtii Mungu? Yes. Do you sometimes God say don't tell a lie and then you still tell a lie? Je, kuna wakati Mungu okay, Mungu anasema kwamba usinene uongo. Na je, kuna matukio fulani ambayo wewe umenena uongo? And God says don't be angry and we still get angry. Aha, Mungu anasema kwamba usikasirike lakini si tunakasirikaga. Yes. Is there someone here who, who obeys God 100%? Je, kuna mtu hapa ambaye anamtii Mungu 100%? No. 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 Now, let me ask you this. Wasa nikuulize tena. When you first believe in Jesus, ulipoamini katika Kristo Yesu mara ya kwanza, did you obey God more or disobey him more? Uliitii Mungu zaidi ama haukumtii zaidi? Gani ilikuwa juu kumtii zaidi ama kutomtii zaidi? Kumtii zaidi. Obey him more. Boy, obey him more. Okay, that's very good. But let me tell you, lakini wasa ni kwa many Christian will confess. Wakristo wengi watakiri many times they sin. Watakiri wakati mwingi wanapo tena dhambi. They still get angry. Lakini bado wanakasirika. They don't like to read the Bible or to pray. Hawapendi kusoma Biblia, hawapendi pia kuomba. They don't like to tell people about Jesus. Hawataki pia kuambia watu wengine kumhusu Kristo. That's disobedience to God. Hao ni kuto hiyo ni kutotii Mungu. And sometimes they complain to God. Na wakati mwingine huwa wanalalamikia Mungu. And say God you did not help me. Na waseme kwamba Mungu haujanisaidia. And those are disobedience to God. Huo hiyo ni kuto Let me ask you. Wasa ni kuulize. Have you disobeyed God many times? J, ume wewe ushawahi kutomtii Mungu mara nyingi? Yes. But did God stop moving in our hearts? J, na Mungu aliacha kukuwa na msukumo katika moyo wako? He keep working in our heart, right? Mungu anaendelea kufanya kazi kwenye moyo wako hata licha ya wewe kutomtii anaendelea kufanya kazi kwenye moyo wako. Even when we disobey him. Hata kama haumtii If you have a friend you ask him to come to eat. Kama uko na rafiki na unamkaribisha kwa chakula, you say come come to my home to eat. Unamwambia njoo njoo kwetu njoo kwangu tule. And then he say no I don't want to come to your home. Anakwambia ah mimi sitaki kuja kwako. Next time you ask him to come again. Siku nyingine unapomwalika tena. He said I don't want to come. Anakuambia mimi siji huko. Don't ask me again. Usiwae ni ni niuliza kitu kama hicho tena. He said that a few times. Akisema hivyo safari kadhaa. Do you still ask him? Je, bado utaendelea kumwalika aje? No. But we have rejected God many times. Lakini sisi tumemkataa Mungu safari nyingi. But God continue to move in our heart. Lakini Mungu anaendelea kufanya kazi kwenye mioyo zetu. Sema amen. Amen. You know, in Chinese we have this saying. Unajua katika kule Uchina tuko na msemo huu. When people don't feel shameful, kama watu hawaone hawana haya, we say that they have thick skin on the face. Tunasema kwamba wako na ngozi ngumu kwenye uso wao. I'm using a human way to describe God. Yaani najaribu kutumia mifano ya kibinadamu ili kumu kumfafanua Mungu zaidi. God has thick skin on his face. Kwa hivyo Mungu ako na ngozi ngumu kwenye uso wake. Because we have rejected him many times. Manake tumemkataa mara nyingi. I don't want to obey you. Sitaki sasa nikumtii. But God continue moving our heart. Lakini Mungu anaendelea kufanya kazi kwenye mioyo zetu. Now, if you invite a friend kwa hivyo kama utamwalika basi rafiki. And a friend you pretend you are rejecting me. Mm-hmm. You, you, you use your hand reject me. You reject me. You come and you, you push me, push me. You reject me, and then I say, please, 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 please. I want to help you. Mimi sasa kisada wako. Do you do this to people? Je, we wona fanya watu hivyo? Are you willing to do that? Na je, ukota yari kufanya hivyo? Please. Na we umutaki, na kuitaji, lakini we wona fanya nini? Hau mutaki. No. But God is doing that. Lakini mungu wona fanya hivyo. That is why I said. 
He is in front of us and behind us. Ndio sababu nime nimesema ako mbele yetu. Let me explain something here. Okay. Anasema kwamba wakati sisi hatumtaki Mungu Mungu anajaribu kutuita tuje kwake lakini sisi tunafanya nini? Tunamkataa hatumtaki. Sawa? Yes. Tumeelewa. Amen. 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 Uh-huh. Now I hope you really say God you're so wonderful. Natumainia kwamba utasema ai Mungu wewe ni wa ajabu. You know every time I think of the love of God. Unajua kila wakati ninapofikiri kuhusu upendo wa Mungu. I say God you're so wonderful. Nasema kwamba Mungu wewe ni wa ajabu. When I think of God's love, ninapofikiri kuhusu upendo wa Mungu. I feel like crying. Nasikia nikana kwamba nilie. There is no one like God in the world. Katika dunia mzima, ulimwengu mzima, hakuna yeyote wa kulinganishwa na Mungu. Sema amen. He is so nice. Yeye ni mwema kabisa. He loves us all the time. Anatupenda kila wakati. He draws to him all the time. Anatuvuta kwake kila wakati. He does he loves us even when we reject him. Anatupenda hata ingawa sisi tunamkataa. I hope you put this in your mind. Nina tumaini kwamba utaweka mambo haya kwenye mawazo yako. Deep in your mind. Kwenye kilindi cha akili na mawazo yako. God is loving us every moment. Mungu anatupenda kila dakika. When we sin he loves us. Tunapotenda dhambi bado anatupenda. When we reject him he loves us. Tunapomkataa bado anatupenda. And when we come close to him. Tunaposongea karibu na yeye. His love will pour be poor into our heart. Aha, upendo wake basi utaumwaga kwenye nyoyo zetu. Sema amen. Amen. Now let me tell you many Africans were taken to America to be slaves. Waseni niwaambie basi kulikuwa na kipindi ambacho Waafrika fulani walipelekwa kule Amerikani kwa waku walipelekwa mateka kule Amerika. And then when the master said to the slave come na sasa kuna wakati yule kimkuu wa yale mateka anaambia mteka mmoja kwamba njoo Can the slave say I'm sleeping I cannot come now? Je, wakati huyo mkubwa wa wale walioshikwa anapoambia mmoja hebu njoo. Huyo mwenye ameitwa anamwambia kwamba siwezi kuja manake na lala. Na you say no. no. Mnasema no or no. yes. So the slave has to come. So yule mfungwa ni lazima afanye namna gani? Aje. Every time when the master calls a slave kila wakati ambapo mkuu wa utumwa anapoita mfungwa mmoja Now I use a funny example. Nitatumia sana mfano wa kushangaza. If the slave is in a toilet in a toilet <laughs> basi kama yule mfungwa yule mtegwa nyara ako kwenye chumba cha choo pale and the master say come na yule mkubwa anasema hebu njoo the slave has to finish right away. Aha, yule mfungwa hata kama alikuwa mnajua kupupu. And then rush out. Kama anajisaidia itabidi af kujarakisha. Kukunia. Kunya. Basi itabidi ajifunge haraka haraka afara mna gani aende. Is that true? Ni ukweli ama uongo? Ukweli. True. But let me ask you, is God our slave? Je, wacheni niwaulize je? Mungu ni mtumwa wetu. No, no. But he serves us more than a slave does. Lakini yeye anadu, anatuhudumia kuliko vile sisi tunavyomhudumia. The slave will sometimes complain in his heart. Yule mfungwa kila wakati atalalamika kwenye roho yake. The slave they really, really don't like the masters. Ingawa hampendi yule mkuu wake lakini atamtii ndio analalamika. But God when he serves us lakini Mungu anapotuhudumia even when we reject him hata kama tunapomkataa he always loves us yeye kila wakati anatupenda even when we go to heaven hata tukienda kule mbinguni the sky say now i can take a nap Je, I can sleep. Can I I can sleep now je Mungu anaweza kusema kwamba ah sasa mimi naweza kulala manake ushakuja no but God will continue to minister to us in heaven lakini mungu ataendelea hata kuhudumia kule kutuhudumia tukiwa kule mbinguni he will continue give us joy and love ataendelea kutupa upendo na amani that is how wonderful god is hivyo ndivyo mungu alivyo ajabu let me tell you i like god very much wacha nikwambie mimi nampenda mungu zaidi i really like god ninampenda mungu i like god more than i like money Ninampenda Mungu kuliko vile ninavyopenda hela. I like God more than my wife. 
Ninampenda Mungu kuliko vile ninavyompenda mke wangu. I have a wonderful wife. Yeye yeah, ako na mke wa ajabu. I like her very much. Ninampenda zaidi. But I like God more than my wife. Lakini nampenda Mungu kuliko vile ninavyompenda mke wangu. Because it is God who gave me my wife. Manake ni yule Mungu aliyenipa huyu mchumba, huyu mke. God who gives us every, give me everything. Ni Mungu anayenipa kila kitu. Can you now be convinced God is full of love? Je, waweza kushawishika sahi kwamba Mungu amejawa na upendo? Yes. yes. That you say God loves us so much. Yaani useme kwamba Mungu ananipenda zaidi. And I really enjoy his love. Na kwa kweli ninasherekea upendo wake. I want to come to him. Nataka nije kwake. Now for the last two days I pray for people. Siku mbili zilizopita nilikuwa nikiombea watu. And ask them what they experience. Na ninawauliza wanahisi nini? And people say I experience peace and joy and love. Na wanasema kwamba nahisi upendo, amani na furaha. And comfort to the body. Nasikia mwili umefarijika. That is God's love. Huo ni upendo wa Mungu. So I hope you say, "Wow, God loves me all the time." Oh, now to make kwamba utasema kwamba Mungu ananipenda kila dakika. When you believe in God's love, unapoamini katika upendo wa Mungu, your whole life will be full of blessings. Maisha yako yote yatakuwa maisha ya baraka. Zephaniah 3:17. Katika kitabu cha 3:17 Zephaniah. Katika kitabu cha Zephaniah mstari wa 3 mstari wa 17. The second part it says he will take great delight in you. He will praise you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. Ana inasema kwamba basi Mungu atachukua sehemu kubwa ya maisha yako. Atafurahia pamoja nawe na atashangilia pamoja nawe katika uimbaji. Now what it says here is that God you know he is very happy with us. Kile kinazungumza hapa ni kwamba Mungu ako na furaha na sisi. His love has feelings. Upendo wake uko na hisia. Many people think of God like a judge. Watu wengine wa like like a judge, you know, judge a judge in a court. No aha, aha, aha. Watu wengi basi wanafikiria Mungu kwamba wanapofikiria kuhusu Mungu wanafikiria Mungu ni kama yule mm, wile wa mahakama anaitwa nani? Hakim. 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 That they think of God being very stern, yani wanafikiria kwamba Mungu ako na msimamo wake kabisa, easily angry, akwamba yeye hukasirishwa haraka. But the Bible says that he rejoices over us with singing. Lakini maandiko yasema kwamba anasherekea na sisi pamoja katika uimbaji. When we come to him, tunapomja, tunapokuja kwake. When we pray to him, tunapomuomba. When he loves, when we love him, tunapompenda. Um, He's very happy. Yeye yeah, ako na furaha. He rejoice over us with singing. Aha, uh-huh. anasherekea pamoja nasi katika uimbaji. And he loves us all the time. Na anatupenda kila wakati. There is says that he quiets us with his love. Ndio ile inasema kwamba yeye ametufunika kwa wingu la upendo. That he will look at us with love all the time. Kwamba anapokutazama, anakutazama kwa macho ya upendo. Let me tell you my wife loves me very much. Aha, uh-huh. sikia hiyo. Mke wake anampenda zaidi huyu jamaa. Now this is my wife's picture here. Aya sura ya mke wako ndio hiyo. Okay. They've not seen. Uh, but that it just I know it's hard to see. It just 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 let you see. Umeona mke wake? How when we take pictures, how we when we take pictures we our heads usually stick together. Hata kipindi kile ambacho wako katika mahali wameenda kupigwa picha vichwa zao huwa zinashikana ndo wapigwe picha chake na cha mkewe ndo wapigwe picha and sometimes my wife would just stare at me na wakati mwingine mke wako wake atashinda tu amemgondolea macho sometimes in the daytime wakati mwingine hata siku ya sometimes we went to bed hata tukienda kule kitandani she would just look at me ata back to me nitazama and i said go to sleep you have to get up early anamwambia ah mke wangu nenda ukalale manake kesho tutafaa tu mke mapema mke hataki kulala kwa sababu ya ile upendo amebaki tu kumtazama eh but then she said <laughs> but then she said let me look at you lakini sasa atamwambia ah mke anapomwambia aende alale mke wangu anamwambia hapana nipe muda niendelee kukuangalia nikuone she said let me look at you longer 
Anaambia ah niyo nizidishie muda nikakutazame zaidi. She really has great love for me. Kwa kweli yako na upendo mwingi kwa yake. And I think God that God has put that love in her. Na nina shukuru Mungu mwanake ameweka ule upendo ndani mwake. She cares about everything I do. Yeye ana yule mke anajali hili li jamaa kwa chochote kile ambacho anakifanya. Let me tell you. Wacha nikwambie. God is looking at you all day long also. Jinsi vile mke wake anamtazama kwa muda ndo vile Mungu anavyokutazama wewe kila wakati. He is looking at you with love. Anakutazama kwa upendo siku yote. He really loves us. Anatupenda zaidi. Please believe that. Nataka uamini hilo. Sema amen. When you respond to his love, unapoitikia kwa upendo wake, he will be very happy. Yeye atakuwa na furaha and he will pour his blessings into our lives. Na atamwagilia baraka kwenye maisha yetu. Like into my life. Kwa mfano katika kwa mfano jinsi vile baraka zilivyo ndani ya maisha yake. Now This year I went to South Africa. Ehe mwaka huu alikuwa kule Afrika Kusini and it was the sixth time someone saw me in a dream before they, they knew me. Na kulikuwa na mtu kule Afrika Kusini ambaye aliona huyu jamaa kwenye ndoto kabla hamuone. When I went there a sister told me. Alipoenda pale yule dada alimwambia on the day I, w- I left Hong Kong on Tuesday. Siku ile aliyotoka kwake siku ya Jumanne and she had a dream on the same day. Na hiyo siku pia akawa na ndoto. In a dream she was chased by some people. Ya kwamba katika ndoto aliyota kwamba anafukuzwa na watu fulani. And she was scared. Na alikuwa ame anauoga. And then she went to a house. Na sasa akaenda kwenye nyumba. She looked inside. Akaangalia ndani. And saw a Chinese boy. Na akaona mtoto wa Kichina. And she knocked at the window. Alipobisha kwenye dirisha. Asked the boy to open the door for her. Akauliza yule kijana kumfungulia mlango. And she went inside. Alipoingia ndani. And saw a group of Chinese praying. Na akaona kikundi cha wachina wakiomba. And then I went up to her in a dream. Na sasa huyu jamaa aka akamwendea katika ndoto. And I said to her. Akamwambia, "Would you like me to pray for you?" Ungelipenda nikuombe. And the moment I touch her na alipotumguza he means she experienced great love and great joy na akaanza kuisi upendo mkuu na furaha kuu and then she woke up in a dream na akaamuka kutoka kwenye usingizi when she woke up alipoamka she was still happy and full of love alikuwa bado ako na furaha na upendo mwingi na she re- she said it was me for three reasons na akasema kwamba ulikuwa ni wewe kwa sababu ya hizi vipengele tatu. The first reason is the face looked like me. Ya kwanza ni kwamba ile sura ambayo aliona kwenye ndoto ni wewe. And the second reason is when I lay hand on her she experienced a love and joy. Na ya pili ni kwamba alipomwekea mikono akaisi upendo na furaha. It is it's the same in a dream ambapo ilifanyika hivyo hivyo kwenye usiku. And when I pray for her in person. Na sasa walipokutana akamuombea And also my teaching was about the love and joy of the Lord. Na pia mafundisho yake yalikuwa kuhusu upendo na furaha ya Mungu. It's the same as in a dream. Ndivyo kile kilichofanyika pia kwenye ndoto yake. So she said she saw me before I went there. Ndio almanake akasema kwamba alimuona hata kabla yeye kwenda huko. And she never saw Chinese in a dream. Na hakuwaiona mchaina mwingine kwenye usingizi. And then she saw me in the first, you know, the day that I was fine there. Na tena akamuona ile siku huyu jamaa alipofika kule. Now this is the sixth person who saw me in a dream before they saw me in person. Huyu alikuwa ni mtu wa sita kumwambia hivyo maana kuna wengine tano ambao walikuwa washamuona kwenye usingizi. And then a seventh person in that church na mtu wa saba kwenye lile kanisa saw me in a vision when she prayed akalimuona kwenye maono wakati alipokuwa akiomba what i want to tell you is kila nataka kukuambia ni hiki if you love god kama unampenda mungu and follow god na umfuate mungu god knows you mungu anakupenda anajua and then god will confirm your ministry na mungu sasa atakuja kwenye huduma wako na auwalalishe 
God will confirm your life. Mungu atalalisha maisha yako. God will let people know that you, God has sent you. Mungu atafanya watu wajue kwamba Mungu ndiye aliyekutuma wewe katika huduma ule unaofanya. That is what God is doing in my life. Hicho ndicho ambacho Mungu anafanya kwenye maisha yangu. Like how I can raise money to help this church and the the other pastor's church Jesus even naweza kujaribu kukusanya pesa nisaidie kanisa hili na kanisa la huyu mchungaji It's God's way of saying God accepted my ministry Ni njia moja ya kusema kwamba Mungu alikubali huduma wangu sema amen And I want to say God just the same to you Nataka kusema kwamba Mungu pia waweza anaweza kufanya hivyo kwako It's easy to please God Ni rahisi sana kumpendeza Mungu When you just love God Unapompenda Mungu And you say God please help me to love you more Useme kama Mungu naomba unisaidie nikupende zaidi Please help me to serve you. Naomba ukanisaidie ili nikakutumikie. I want to follow your will. Nataka kufuata mapenzi yako. And then if you cannot do it well, kama hauwezi fanya hivyo vyema, you say God I need your help. Useme kwamba Mungu anahitaji msaada. And God will be very happy. Na Mungu atakuwa na furaha. And he will bless your whole life. Na atabariki maisha yako yote. Amen. Do you want God to bless your whole life? Je, ungelipenda Mungu abariki maisha yako yote? So I tell you, pia ninakuambia, God spoke to us some people Mungu alinena kwa watu wengine and told them to learn from me na akawaambia kwamba wajifundishe kutokana na na yeye That's how God accepted us Even ndivyo Mungu anavyotukubali So if you follow God totally unapomfuata Mungu na moyo wako wote There is nothing you need to worry about Hakuna chochote ambacho basi utakuwa na shauku nacho There will be blessings coming to you all the time. Kutakuwa na baraka ambazo zitakuandama kila wakati. Sema amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 90 verse 14. Katika kitabu cha Zaburi sura ya 90 na mstari wa 14. Zaburi Zaburi 90 mstari wa 14. Satisfy us In the morning with your unfailing love that we may sing for joy and be glad all our days. Ukatushibishe basi na upendo wako wa asubuhi ili kwamba wakati wa jioni nasi tukapate kukuimbia upendo wako. So satisfy us with the love of God. Ukatushibishe na upendo wa Mungu. So that we will sing for joy and rejoice ili all the days of our life. Ili kwamba tukapate kuwa na furaha na tukimbie siku za Siku zetu zote za maisha yetu. Every day you enjoy God. Kila siku unasherekea Mungu. Every day you enjoy life. Kila siku unaburudika maisha. Let me tell you, I enjoy serving God. Wacha niwaambie mimi huu ninafurahia kumtumikia Mungu. I enjoy telling you about God. Mimi huu ninafurahia nikiwaambia kuhusu. When I tell you about God, ninapowaambia kuhusu Mungu, I'm very happy. Niko na furaha. I'm happy to pray for people. Niko na furaha kuombea watu. I enjoy it. Nakuburudika. I enjoy writing my material. Mimi huwa nasherekea sana kuandika hizi nakala zangu. When I have time I always write my material. Kama niko na muda anaandika ni ukweli anaandika. And then when I have time I go to different countries. Na pia akiwa na muda yeye huzuru mataifa tofauti. I enjoy everything I do for God. Yeye anasherekea chochote kile anachomfanyia Mungu. I also enjoy nature. Pia ninasherekea asili. Amen. This morning I went to take pictures of birds. Asubuhi hii tumeenda kule chini ili akapige picha zile mnaita aje ndege I do not mind to wake up at 5:30 to go to take the picture so Siku na ni vigumu mimi kuamka saa 11:00 asubuhi unusu ili mimi nikapige ndege picha kule chini And just now when I was teaching na sasa nilipokuwa nikifundisha I saw the blue uh, uh, kingfisher Ameona yule ndege ambaye anakulanga samaki wa, wa, wa rangi ya sama samawati. Sama Have you seen the blue kingfisher here? Mshawai ona ndege sambuliwi sambuli hiyo. The wing has some bright blue part. Hizi bawa zake ziko na eh, rangi nyeupe pia na ya blue and the beak is red. Na mdomo wake huu ni mwekundu. I really want to take the video of that bird. Nilitamani sana nichukue kanda ya ndege huyo. Sometimes it will fly above somewhere. Eh kuna kipindi fulani huwa ana moving his wings. Anafanya hivi mabawa zake na amesimama tu mahali pale. And the bright 
the bright blue color will shine. Na sasa unaona ile kala yake ya blue inang'aa kabisa. And then flew down to its na, maybe some insect. Akifanya hivyo anakuanga amepiga timing kaja makengine pale chini atakuja mbio poop anakachukua naenda. It's really beautiful. Ah, inavutia sana. I enjoy that. Mimi nasherekea hayo. Everything about God I enjoy. Amen. When you enjoy God, everything you see, you think about God. Your whole life will be full of joy. Maisha yako yote yatajazwa na furaha. And you have the presence of God. Na utakuwa na uwepo wa Mungu. So every day I encourage you to have these two two kinds of prayer. Aha basi kila siku inafaa ukue na hizi sample mbili za maombi. One is to declare the love of God. Ya kwanza ni kutangaza upendo wa Mungu. And one is to, is to respond to God. Na ya pili ni kuitikia kwa Mungu. To worship him. Ili ukamwabudu. So one you can say God is loving me. Ya kwanza unaweza kusema kwamba Mungu unanipenda. God is blessing me. Mungu ananibariki. God is helping me. Mungu unanisaidia. God is in front of me and behind me. Mungu ako nyuma yangu na ako mbele yangu. God is laying his hand upon me. Mungu ananiwekea mikono yake. And then you can rejoice. Na sasa unaweza kuwa God is blessing me now. Mungu ananibariki sasa hii. Now if you learn to experience the Holy Spirit, basi unapojifundisha jinsi ya kumhisi Roho Mtakatifu. Every time you pray to God. Kila wakati unapoomba kwa Mungu, unaomba vile naomba hiyo. flow out through you. Unasikia upendo wa Mungu unaingia ndani mwako. For me when I pray it's always like that. Mimi napoomba ni hivyo. Amina. And then I love God. Na ninampenda Mungu. God I love you. Mungu nakupenda. You are the best that happens to me. Wewe ndo kitu kizuri ambacho kishawahi nitendekea maisha yangu. You are so wonderful. Wewe ni wa ajabu. You are so good. Wewe ni mwema zaidi. So these two kinds of prayer. Hizi aina mbili za maombi. Now you can also intercede, pray na, for the land. Na pia unaweza kuomba kwa ajili ya mahitaji mengine. Pray for the church and pray for the people. Uombe kanisa, uombe watu. But these two kinds of prayer will get strength. Lakini haya aina hizi aina mbili za maombi zitakuletea nguvu. One is prayer of grace. Ya kwanza ni maombi ya neema. One is prayer of worship. Ingine ni maombi ya ibada. Prayer of grace is declaring the grace of God from God from above to us. Maombi ya neema ni ile hali ya kutangaza neema ya Mungu kutoka kwetu ikimwendea Mungu. God is loving me. Ikitoka kwa Mungu ikikuja kwetu Mungu unanipenda. God is caring for me. Mungu unanijali. God likes everything I do for him. Mungu anapenda chochote kile ninachomfanyia. And then prayer of worship. Na ombi la ibada. I love you God. Na now say after him. Aya sasa urudie mambo haya nyuma, sawa? Yes. Amen. I love you God. Nakupenda Mungu. Nakupenda Mungu. I worship you. Nakuabudu Mungu. I like you. Ninakupenda Mungu. I need you. Ninakuhitaji. I hold on to you. Ninakushikilia. I'm happy with you. Niko na furaha na wewe. Niko na furaha na wewe. Now. Let me now ask you. Wacha sasa nikuulize. Is prayer of grace or prayer of worship? Grace or worship. Sasa hapa ubainishe na useme ni ombi lipi ni je ni ombi la neema ama ni ombi la la kuabudu. Okay? God loves me. What is it? Mungu ananipenda. Ni neema ama ni kuabudu? Neema. Grace. Okay? I love God. Ninapenda Mungu. Worship. Yes. Ni ni neema ama ni ibada? Ibada. Okay. I need God. Na kuhitaji Mungu. Ni ombi gani neema ibada? Ibada. Worship. Okay. God is nice to us. Mungu ni mwema kwetu. Neema ama ibada? Neema ama. Grace. God is with us all the time. Mungu ako na sisi kila wakati. Neema ibada? Neema. Grace. Okay. Now, especially, you know, first every time when you wake up, 
Eh eh basi ujue kwamba kila wakati unapoamka. Start by saying God is loving me now. Uanze na kusema kwamba Mungu unanipenda saa hii. God is blessing me now. Mungu unanibariki saa hii. God will bring blessings to me. Mungu ataleta baraka kwangu. So every time when we wake up kila wakati unapoamka start with that uanze na hiyo and also when you feel unhappy na pia labda wakati mwingine umekasirishwa keep saying endelea kusema god is caring for me mungu unanijali god is helping me mungu ananisaidia god is blessing me mungu anibariki god is wonderful mungu ni wa ajabu that way you will be happy all the time njia hiyo utakuwa na furaha kila wakati amina when you are unhappy kama uko na furaha you say i don't have to be unhappy kama uko na furaha na labda unataka kukasirishwa unasema kama mimi sitaki nikasirishwe i have almighty god loving me niko na mungu mkuu anipenda sema amen i can be happy all the time naweza kuwa na furaha kila wakati so all the time you say lord you so good kila wakati tunasema kwamba mungu wewe ni mwema hallelujah hallelujah oh hallelujah hallelujah oh hallelujah oh yes oh hallelujah sema amen that way you'll be filled with the holy spirit easily basi hapo utajazwa na roho mtakatifu kiurahisi amen Okay now let us stand up I nataka tusimame sasa And let us declare the love of God Nataka tutangaze upendo wa Mungu And every day enjoy God's love Na kila siku ukasherekee upendo wa Mungu For as long as you can Kwa ile hali ambayo utawezeshwa And then also with excitement Na pia uwe na furaha Now let me tell you what I kwambie when you receive a great gift from someone unapopokea zawadi njema kutoka kwa mtu would you say thank you utasema tu asante or would you be wa ama utakuwa na furaha i thank you na mshangao useme haya hii ni yangu asante asante so pastor when you have that Sunday school building finish will you say thank god thank god thumbs or would you be Wow, this year, this year. <laughs> Will you be excited? Utakuwa na furaha? Yes. Respond to God with excitement. Ni lazima uitikie kwa Mungu katika hali ya msisimko. Amina. Children, little children have excitement, right? Watoto wachanga wako wakati mwingi wanakuanga na msisimko. Have you noticed little children have excitement? Ushawahi gundua kwamba watoto wachanga wanakuwa na msisimko zaidi? Adults don't have much excitement sometimes. Wazee kama nyinyi hivi hamnanga msisimko sana. Because many adults have blocked our feeling. Manake ehe watu wakubwa kama nyinyi mnakuanga na hisia nyingi. But I hope you learn to respond to God with excitement. Natumai utajifundisha ili ukaitikie Mungu ukiwa na msisimko wa hali ya juu. In African way katika njia ya Kiafrika. Oh, Hallelujah. Let's do that now. Thank you. Haya tufanye hivyo. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Asante Asante Jesus.
go to heaven do you worry anymore? No. Je, nataka nikuulize kama ndio hivyo maisha inakuwa ukienda mbinguni utakuwa na shauku? Hakuna. No. What is the difference on earth here? So ni tofauti ipi iliyoko hapa duniani? Does God help us? Je, Mungu anatusaidia? Yes. yes. God helps us. Mungu anatusaidia. The more we come close to him. Tunapomsongea kwa dhati, the more his blessings will come to us. Ndivyo vile baraka zake zinaendelea kutusogea. So you can think of this life Unaweza fikiria kuhusu maisha haya. It's like in heaven. Ndivyo mm-hmm. maisha itakavyokuwa kule oh, mbinguni. I'm living in heaven. Oh, yani ufikirie kwamba oh. saizi unaishi mbinguni. Na when you live like that. Uishi unapoishi maisha sambuli. You find that you have a lot of joy. Utagundua kwamba uko na furaha nyingi. You find blessings come to you. Utapata baraka zikija. You find that you have strength. Utapata uko na nguvu. Oh. Yes. yes. Asante Yesu Asante Yesu Yesu ha ha Yesu Asante Yesu ha ha Oh rejoice what's the word for rejoice kufurahia 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 Kufraia 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 So even when you pray to God at home hata unavyoomba unapoomba kule nyumbani kwako when you wake up in the morning unapoamka asubuhi you can start by enjoying god's love unaweza tu amka na una, watu watafikia ni unawazimu lakini unajua kile unafanya nini unafanya unaweza amka na kwenda kucheza when you enjoy god unaweza unapoanza kumsherekea mungu then you have the strength utakuwa na nguvu to do your work kufanya hata tu kazi zako za kinyumbani and you serve god na kumfanyia mungu kazi and you can rejoice all the days of our life unaweza furahia siku zako za maisha yote every time i pray kila wakati na kuomba <laughs> and then joy will come and now, i feel the strength kila wakati unapoomba ukiomba hivyo si unaona ile siku unaamka ukiwa na furaha kufanya kazi inakuwa rahisi mambo inakuwa nini rahisi ndio anasema tuwe tunafanya hivyo amen and i find blessings come to us all na utapata baraka zinakuandama maisha yako yote kwa hivyo jioni ya leo when you try to talk to the people who come unapoendelea kuzungumza na watu watakaokuja don't just stand Usiere tu naanza ku dance. It's good to dance. Ni vyema kucheza. And after you dance, lakini ukimaliza kucheza, there are many people there. Kuna watu wengi pale who don't know Jesus well. Ambao hawajui Yesu vizuri. Who don't go to church. Ambao hawaendi kanisani. If you bring them to heaven, unapowaleta mbinguni, the whole heaven will rejoice. Mbingu yote inashangilia. Sema amen. And then God will put his joy into your heart. Na utapata Mungu amemwagilia furaha kwenye roho yako. Hallelujah. Amen. Tuombe sasa. Dear heavenly Father. Baba wetu wa mbinguni. Thank you Lord. Asante Bwana. You are full of love. Wewe umejawa na upendo. You are full of joy. Wewe uko na furaha. We have all reasons to rejoice. Tuko na sababu zote za kufurahia. We can enjoy you every day. Tunaweza kukusherekea kila siku. We can relax in you. Tunaweza kushiriki na wewe. We can live on earth as it is in heaven. Tunaweza kuishi hapa chini kama vile mbinguni. We can have strength from you all the time. We can have strength from you all. Tunaweza kupokea nguvu kutoka kwako. We need to Jesus. Tunakuhitaji Yesu. We know that you love us all the time. Tunajua unatupenda kila wakati. We can enjoy your love. Tunaweza sherekea upendo wako. We can enjoy your presence. Tunaweza sherekea uwepo wako. Oh Lord change our life. Oh Bwana badilisha maisha yetu. That we live in your love. Ili tuishi katika upendo ndo wako. And we love people. Na tuishi na upendo na watu. We care about people. Na pia tuwajali. We talk to people. Tuzungumze na watu. We help 
people. Tusaidie watu. Tusaidie. And then God is very happy with us. Na Mungu utakuwa na furaha na sisi. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. We need Jesus. Tunakuhitaji Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus name we pray.